Thanks again, dear. Come back anytime. Will do. Oh, what's this? Pat. Hey, it's me, Pat. The alligator? The one with the hat? Hello, Pat. It's almost ten. Can you come back? It's been two hours already? Wow, okay. Someone came over to my table and threatened me. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that can mean anything. Ah, yes, tomato soup. Clearly they're attempting to murder him with a spoon. Very upsetting for him, I suppose. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. Ah, so that's why I'm doing this, for the coupons. I'm on my way. Pat, I hear you have a coupon for me. Ah, don't pop me! Oh, oh, oh it, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have Dare when you were in elementary school? You know, Dare. Dude, assassins really exist. At least, I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Anyway, did you find out anything from the family? Well, well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail. Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time while you were gone. Yeah, that's not good for you, right? Uh, maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel safer there. Unless Logie with bread. Let's go. Logie? No, hey, where are you going? Oh. Oh my god, his walk animation is adorable. But Pat, how can I follow you? No, okay. Find the code to Pat's abode, my safe place. Okay, I'll play. Help Pat back into his hotel room, help Pat with his outdated website, and help Pat remember his room code. Okay, I can do those things apparently I've already done too. Thanks for protecting me. It, it really helps to have someone walking me around my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Oh, well, I see those little alligators in those flowers. Huh. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take ten more hours of waiting. I was just gonna mention how your walk cycle is just... the second most adorable thing I've seen. Oh, what's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. I mean... Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's passcode, so I saved it on my website. www.alligator.fun Oh, we need to go to that website right now. I'm so glad I planned ahead. Yeah, I'm putting that in right now. Hmm. Uh, oh, didn't get a chance to. Oh, here we are. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can unlock it? Of course I can. www.alligator.fun Oh my god, this is the most 90s thing I've ever seen. That's www.alligator.fun It's basically a GeoCities page. But, okay. Uh, don't click Pat only, I'm assuming. If you're not Pat, you're breaking law. This has been reported to the computer police. <laughs> of course it has. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. There we go. You did it! Thank you so much! Yeah, I really kind of overdid it with this thing. Oh! What? I, I can't close it! What's going on? Oh god, it's eating from the... Help me, you gotta help me! I don't even like pink! Uh, code again. Uh, 91619? There we go. Oh my gosh. Hmm, <laughs> hello. My word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? And why have you opened my door? <laughs> Who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I saw this lock because my family's trying to rub me out. 
Well, this is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family's trying to rub me out. But if that's true, my password still worked. Is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us! <laughs> so long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Fat. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here. Or I'll come for you. Endlessly. Uh, you're not concerned about that, though? That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? And that pink acid that was coming out of his door, you're not... Like, you're worried about your family and not that? I hope that guy's room is okay. This stuff kind of smelled like brimstone. What? I didn't click that away. Was that about brimstone? Is he literal alligator Satan? Mmm, suspicious. Ah, this is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mixed them up. Yeah, I can see how you would. 91619. Basically a vault door, just like the other one. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Go on in. Fantastic. Phew, I'm so glad we made it inside. Now I could really try to relax a little. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4 p.m., so don't forget to check your watch. Which I haven't done at all yet, so, hmm. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. Excellent, got Pat's badge. Okay. I know exactly where that, well, I know vaguely where that goes. Oh, was hoping to chat with that, but oh well. Oh, puzzle piece. Which again, I have to look everywhere for those. Oop. Hey, 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 get... Get back here, suspicious-looking alligator. Hmm, okay. Okay. Well then, apparently I'm not allowed in the kitchen. There we go. Excellent. Slowly but surely. We'll see what those puzzle pieces do. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. Mm, watching you. Mm. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. Yeah, but you sure about that, though, Charlene? You're not really taking the hint, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's fair. Alright, I don't see anything else here. So, onwards to elsewhere. I love that dancing alligator. He is the best. Uh, the Brodega. Oh. I don't know if... That's cool. I appreciate that. Oh, hey. Fifth William the Fourth. Oh boy, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her. The sign flower? What? I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police or I slip and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. Oh. Neat. Oh, like you can interact with stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> your walk cycle's fantastic, sir. Sir, a moment of your time. Oh, uh, yeah. What? What? Aha. Gotta be tricky like that. Okay. All right. So, um, what time is it? 10.30. Wow, that took a half hour. Okay. Um, uh, wow. Mayor Willy Finn. Welcome to my beautiful city. E uh, I have questions for you. Um, unsavory part of town. Uh, let's just go to downtown. Hmm. Oh. God, just such smooth, soothing music. Hey. Hey, getting your friendly city guide here. So I was wondering, have you been finding any puzzle pieces around? Yes, actually. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Maybe if you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. 
like unlock something or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. Well, it's bright, so have uh, lots of fun looking around. Oh, I'm sorry, that's an alligator in there. Sleepy pants. Zzz. Zzz, mm. Zzz, man, I'm so totally sleeping right now. Zzz, I love being asleep. Hmm. Also, it's 1.45, 10.45. So I actually have to worry about timing, it looks like. Or, like, spending time. Oop, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, let's talk with these guys. That Can I... Do I have to worry about you guys? You guys are just going by. Oop, trash can. All right, let's go here. Denise, hello, hello, hello. Hey, ahem. Oh, hello. The barbershop Quartet. We're the Downtown Quartet and we'll sing you a song. It's not a very short one, but it's also ain't long. We'll sing it in the morning and we'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints and we'll be gone soon. I don't know how to do like a barbershop quartet on your own, so that's the best I'm gonna do. Hit the solo, Maurice. To jail. Fantastic. Who are you guys? I mean, I got your names, so. Denise. Louis. Patrice. Maurice. Okay. Who's Maurice? We're Pat's aunts and uncles. Aunt and uncles. He's our darling nephew. All except for Lewis, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Lewis. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know that takes part in the show. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, dude, pull it back. Sorry. So, what do you guys know about the event? We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. If you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all that we've heard. Give them a solo without triggering an oh no. I can do that. Barbershop upset. I'm sorry, barbershop upset. Hmm. Anyway, help the alligator quartet hit their solos. When the scrolling bar shows the singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Okay. Let's first warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I get it. Kind of. Okay. Truly the finest singers of our time. <laughs> Aww. I apparently missed two times, I don't see how. But very well. Say, that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough Patrice time. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. <laughs> Voice like an angel. Truly, Denise has the best. Oh god. I have to pay attention. Can't talk. That sounded wonderful. I feel like I could have had more timber. Timber? Come on, I don't know what that means. It's a singing word. I'm a real singer. I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay, last time. Alright, everybody. Give it everything you've got. God. I'm sorry, that's I find that hilarious. I love her singing. This game is the best. Oh, later alligator, you got me.
Got Denise. Lewis? No. That's either Patrice. That one's Maurice. Okay, gotcha. And then that's Lewis, who is not a family member, so he doesn't matter. Come on, man. Oh, right, sorry. Oh, there we go. He is a family member. You helped us to improve our song and to improve our content. Now that we're gonna tell you is we're booked at the event. Thanks for all your help, now we'll see you in a wink. Unless we get arrested, then please bring us from the clink. Mm, can't guarantee that. I'm also not clear what I am. Like, who am I? How am I related to all this? Or oh, hey, the breeze, the practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be a, a live alligator. Even though it gets noisy sometimes, I love living in the city. It's so full of life and good burger joints. Ah, uh, I'm so content. I love the city. Anything more? Okay. Also, who was that? Hmm. Oh. Puzzle piece. Yay. Alright. Uh, let's all speak with this old guy. Bugs. Bugs for sale. More than one, even. Unlike what the sign implies. Yeah, I sell bugs here. No, not for baiting for eating. We're alligators, and we eat bugs, which is something you know because you exist here, canonically. Anyway, get bug buying or goodbye in, kiddo. I ain't, uh, good god all day. Because I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. Uh, most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr., the third and a half. On account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems, such as how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. Campa, where are you? We'd call, but to no avail. He'd already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. Eh? Did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Do you mean Pat or Pat? You have to speak up, but I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Eh, event? I'm not quite sure what you're, uh, talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. Really now? Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you help me out with a favor. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha has also been the victim of a wheat thresher incident. Can't seem to put it back together again. How did you get a wheat thresher into New York? Alligator New York, specifically? Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Can't help this old softy gaze upon his lost love once more. Get the pieces glued together for this old do. Make my wife, please. I mean, yeah, I'll go for it. Click a block to slide into the empty space, reassemble the picture to gaze upon the alligator's beautiful wife. Oh, good, I am not good at these. Uh, I mean, it should just be moving layers around, right? Uh, how would I fix this? Hmm. Um, hmm. I think that's where that belongs. Okay, uh, how do I do sliding block puzzles? I have never been good at these. Okay, so I have to get this up there and that one over here. Okay, how would I do that? Uh, 
Aha! Hey, screw you! Looks like you're not very good at this. That's it, that's my Martha. Oh, lovely dear Martha. I'll always remember the sound of her sweet voice in her... <gasps> oh? Oh dear, so you've seen the other side now with my secret wife. Could you put this one back together too? If not for me, then for a creepy old coop grandpa's everywhere. I wasn't good at the first time, but sure, why not? Was it Mafiosa? Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. Um Actually that does kinda look like where that's supposed to go. Oh, that should be on the bottom. Mm, nope, other way. Yeah, if you could bring that thing back, because I am not good at this. That belongs on the other side, okay. Yeah, that belongs over there. Hmm, okay. Yes, I know it does look like I'm very not very good at this. Uh, give me a minute. Yeah, screw it. Ah, oh, that's how that was arranged. Next. Ah, got a badge. Oh, jeez. Oh, Gertie, good old Gertie. It's been years since I've looked upon your sweet curly hair and your man-breaking arms. Thank you so much for your help, stranger. Thanks to you, I'm reunited with both of my lost loves. Martha passed years ago, but Gertie's just some witness protection. You know, from all the man-breaking. What a firecracker, that girl. On cold days, I can still feel the phantom broken body pain she left me. Eh? Event? Oh, you mean tonight's event? Well, I can tell you it's on past my bedtime. You young folk love staying up late. Me, I'm in bed by six nightly, after a modest dinner of soft bug puddings and four to seven episodes of soft flutes on public broadcast. Anyway, kiddo, thanks for helping me out, or should I say, helping three out. <laughs> Don't tell my grandkids. Hmm. Huh. You know, there's a layer of weirdness to the... Yes, to the... family. Could you... There we go. Diamond Alice. Hey, hey, look at me. Oh, I thought you were going to be like a puzzle piece. Do you want to hear my poem? It's called Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. Here it is. Shiny Tiny Miny Little Thing. What are you? Then it said, I'm a shiny tiny miny little thing. Did you like it? I wrote it um, in my head because I can't write on papers yet. Except for my name. Except for but. But Papa didn't like when I write it on Grandma. Who are you, you adorable little tyke? I'm Alice, and I'm four years old. I'm gonna eat the whole world, and when I get older, I'm gonna be an ice cream truck king. Um... Hmm, okay. Seems to be conflicting goals there. Do you want to smell what's in my pocket? No, actually, I don't. Uh, Pat? Pat? Pat, 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 or Pat, Pat. Pat's my cousin. I bought him gummy worms, and he eated it. But then, I showed him it was a real worms I found under the bird bath in the backyard. Pat doesn't come to babysit me anymore. I mean, I can't blame him for that. Do you know about the event? It's secret. 
I'm not supposed to tell anybody about it. Papa said if I did, Grandma would be real mad. Even more mad than I write a butt on her butt. How can I convince you? Can you help me with my snack? Maybe if you did, then it'd be okay. I want to eat all the pancakes, but only if they're on my special plate. I don't like to eat, to eat pancakes that's not on my special plate, because it doesn't taste as pancakey. You know how it is. Don't put the smaller ones under the big ones either. I don't like that. So he stacked the me the pancakes? Ah, yes. Children who are picky eaters. The worst people. Uh, prototype people. They're people under construction, technically. Uh, stack the pancakes on Alice's special plate. You can always... Yeah. So it's that stacking puzzle. Plate with the A on it. That's my special plate. If I'm going to eat all these pancakes, I want them stacked perfectly on my special plate. Stack them carefully. A big one can't go in a little one. You ready? Okay, that's easily done. Thankfully, I have experience with this sort of thing from KOTOR. Uh, you're going to live over there for now. Hmm, yep. That's actually where I got relatively good at these. What's that sound? I had a hell of a time with the stacking puzzles back then. Of course, that was years ago. Oh my gosh, the train's in the station. Yum. Mmm, that was a good first course. Wow, really? Alright, we can make this into a thing. Oh, good, it's moving around too. Because that's what I was missing. Just because to me, I did a very bad thing here, but... It's fine. Okay, it actually won't let me do that at all. Okay, good to know. But, but. Easy. Come on, give me a hard one. Mmm, delicious. Wait, does the train sound kind of funny, though? Not really. Should I be paying attention to that? Oh, this is going to be a lot of them, but okay. Oh, and I probably have to minimize my moves, too. Um, just to keep things from... Oh, this is... This is slightly annoying. Uh, let me get you over here. Huh, nope. Nope, stop. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. Oh, God, stop. Ugh. I've done this completely wrong. But right now, that's not important. Um... Urgh. Okay. Yes, because I'm going to put this here, then this over here, then this over here, this over here, this back here, that over there, that over there, that... Uh, again, I've done this wrong, but let me do this, this, and this. Bam. I can't tell which one's the right size, though. Uh, I'm gonna find out in a little bit. It's definitely the wrong size. This belongs on this one. This one does not belong on that one. Great. Made it harder. Hmm, this one's risky. Uh... Ah, close one. But we got it. Ugh. Oh, do you not feel good anymore? After having three stacks of pancakes? Ugh. I eat a lot of pancakes. I feel real, real stomach achy. But accomplished. Maybe I'm gonna lay here a while. There's gonna be a cake at the th thingy tonight, and I want to eat it, so I'm gotta regain my <laughs> regain my cake stamina. Ah, thanks for help. I'm gonna go sleep. Beeps now. Adorable. So, uh, hi. Why are you up there, Leonard? 
I used to be a porcelain doll, but I came to life because of the magic of the shop. Yes, that's why I tell my ex-wife so I can come here all day. I've got a good butt groove going in the shelf. It's important to, you know, maintain that butt groove. I get you. What am I doing up here? I don't know. What are you doing down there? Check and mate. I can't believe the magic of the shop and the belief in the hearts of children everywhere brought me to life and made me a real boy. A real 44-year-old boy with high cholesterol and everything. Hmm, oh. Yeah, if I were going to hide some puzzle pieces, this creepy place is where I would hide them. Nope, oh, there we go. Hmm. Give me it. Alright, look. Suspicious. Nanaroo. Welcome to Nanaroo's, where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just because of the booze. It's haunted as hell. Get out in here, sweetheart, so mind the ectoplasm. And so, you interested in buying some antiques for me today, dollface? We just got in a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on, as well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Who are you exactly? Well, Shukabai, as the sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Roo herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. And your relation to Pat? My sweet, sweet Patrick. He's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop, squealing about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with full deck. You, hey you, be careful with that vase, it's expensive. What do you know about the event, Nanaru? Aw, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event? Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta strain all the ghosts out my wig before the shindig, you know. Those things tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, want me to deal with that guy for you? I'm sorry, Pumpkin. It looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless... You defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you'd out old the old maid? I mean, it would help if I knew how to play old maid, but... Sure. Da -da 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 -da. On your turn, click to take one of Nana Roo's cards. She'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. Okay, so whoever has the old maid loses. House rules, the younger player goes first. Hold on, take your pick. Um... Is there any way I can get a hint of which one's not the old maid? That's some luck you got there. My pick, you say. Well, well, well. I knew today would be a lucky day. Are you there, doll? You spaced out there for a second. <sighs> You're not pulling the wool over my eyes, are you? My pick, you say. Well, well, well. I didn't even click a button there, or at least not intentionally. Another pair for me. I know which one I want you to pick. Ah, uh, you're actually card sharks, unlike Mickey. Okay, I think I won then. That's some luck you got there. Hmm, that card? No, this one. I mean, you only have the one choice. That's a pair for me. Well, how about that? Do you want? I'm sorry, you want 13799 for that? I have questions about your currency. Well, my stars and goddess, you really beat me fair and square. You know, if you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into playing around with a doll like you. I think she'd get a real kick out of it. Just don't stare at her cards. She gets a little feisty about that. It's about the event. Make sure you get there at 8 sharp. If you get to dawdling, you might miss the big surprise. It's sure to knock Pat's socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? Is he one of the shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it. <laughs> Suspicions. I'm sorry, what? Unknown. Buongiorno, city pal here. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least that's what it said on the back of my crisp rice's box today. See. There's lots of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City, that's why they call it a melting pot. Not because that strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. 
You never know who you might strike up a conversation with there, or who might throw a bag of hair at you and then run away. That's a big city for you, full of surprises. Horrible, horrible surprises. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, you seem suspicious. The Black Widow. You're late. I've been waiting here for an hour. What do you mean you do not work here? Well, it's not as if you can fault me for thinking so, what with a drab wardrobe and pathetic sunken eyes. Everything here has the clear sting of death upon it. Oh, except for me, of course. I'm merely a poor, poor woman in deep mourning. Not at all one involved in mysterious circumstances the police cannot explain. Whom are you? I am merely a lonely widow left behind for the great beyond by my beloved late husband, Horace. Oh, Horace, always such a wonderful wisp of a man. Even at his most poisoned, he forever remained regal, kind, and absurdly wealthy. Now in his absence, I find myself trying to take comfort in the metaphysical arts. If only I could hear his sweet, strained voice once more. A pat? Pat? You mean the one with the ridiculous hat? Yes, I am aware of him. A terrible stain on the bloodline, that Papuli fellow. Created all sorts of nonsensical cousins for myself and my dear children. Once removed, at the very least, though it's of little comfort to me. Especially when I see someone like Patrick vault over a coffee table at the holidays. He thought he saw the Spider's Man or whatever nonsense. The event? Oh, I can't even imagine attending the event unchaperoned. If only my poor dear husband had been less poisoned, I wouldn't have to suffer such horrific indignities. Will no one think of me and my feelings? Oh, I know so many people like you. Your questions grow tiresome. Don't you see you're riling up the vapors? What are you, the lead detective investigating the mysterious circumstances around my late husband's untimely demise? How dare you, I've had no rest for the past week. Whenever I close my eyes, I'm visited by Horace's specter reaching out to me, perhaps trying to send me information about some secret treasure he wanted me to inherit on top of the rest of his vast estate. Will nothing stop his ceaseless haunting? If you can only find it in your heart to help this poor widow, I can give you the information you seek. Just use the spirit board to contact Horace, and please find out what my dear late husband wants. Or what kind of evidence he has. <laughs> uh, can do, can do. All the ghosts to the eye of the planchette. Now, is that what they're called? Okay. It could get tricky. The faster you move, the more suspicious the widow gets. I see. Magical insight into the dearly departed. I have my suspicions. Prove to me you can call out my beloved late husband, or I shall out you as a charlotte into the entire mean ladies' bridge club. Oh, cool. It has actually like a scene here. Huh. Just dozens of alligators. Oh, hey. What's up, Horace? It does seem like my Horace. Perhaps it really could be him. Nope. Eh. Horace. Could contact with the Astral be possible? Tell us more, Horace. Like, say, if you know the circumstances around your own death? I'm sorry, I just want to look at the scene a bit. No. I'm sorry, he just phased away. Please stop doing that, Horace. Aha. I think. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hey. It's almost too much to be believed. Indeed, my very foundations are ruffled. He loves me. My horse said he loves me even in his afterlife. What a prince among ghosts. What a special specter my horse is. And so gullible. Thank you, dearie. You've given an old widow a reason to smile again. And also an airtight alibi. Oh, I must go tell the children at once. And also hide some sensitive items in the toilet, perhaps. I simply don't have any more time to discuss the event with you today. Farewell, my medium. Hmm. 
Suspicious, but okay. Let's go back here, see what we find. Um, oh. Well, we'll talk with the monitor in a moment. Hey. Oh, I saw something. There we go. Hmm, just to check. Anything else here? Oop. No, okay. Or at least I'm satisfied there isn't anything. Uh, excuse me, stranger. Can I uh, trouble you for just a moment? You see, I need to seal the deal on a big sale. I'm talking huge, a 10-foot tall coat rack for exceptionally affluent and tall alligators. Can you keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she's getting fussy? Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all. None. Just keep your peepers on this monitor and play her a little music if she starts to wake up or throw on her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. Just doing a babysit, nothing weird about it. Watching a totally normal baby. Ah, good, yes. This will end well. Don't let the ghosts possess this baby. Naturally. Target ghosts by highlighting them with the ghost finder on the right. Damage ghosts by using the monitor functions or with the brightest light. Okay. Aww. I'm sorry? Uh... Um... Ah, okay. And since it's pink... Oh no, angry business ghosts! I see. Um... I was actually going after the orange ones, but there we go. Okay, get rid of the mopey teen. Uh, yep. And that's just... Okay. Business ghosts. Yeah, eat mobile, business ghost. No, I do not understand what I'm doing and how it works. But, uh, orange? Yeah. Oh no, sunglasses ghost. No! Sorry, whoops. Uh, mopey teen. And then, mobile. Go down to orange. Um, let's do that first. Followed by mopey teens and more business ghosts. Easily dealt with. Uh, get rid of the business ghosts first. Oh god, they're all coming in at once. Uh, okay. Back down to orange. Creepy ghosts. And business ghosts. Mopey teens. Alright. More mopey people. Uh, orange ghosts. Eh. And then business goats, and we're done! Yeah, that was easy. Not even a problem. I'm back, uh, and look at that, sleeping like the tiniest, babiest, baby tiny angel. <laughs> that face. Oh. Uh. Sorry to ask you with such a bore, but I do appreciate you helping an old gal out. Tell you what, any items with water, fire, or bee-related damage are 10% off. Just for you. Don't say Nana never did nothing for you, kiddo. <laughs> Huh. There is something weird about this family. I don't think Pat's actually going to be assassinated, but at the same time, there is some weird nonsense happening with this family. Oh, I'm going to take that too. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Well then. Onward to elsewhere. 